Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to today's video, which is my Pan Those Eyeshadows Project Pan. This uh, is, uh, I forget who the name of the lady, is it Alexandra? Alexandria? Uh, anyway, I will leave all the information you need about this project in the description box below the video, so please do check that out before you leave. But I uh, randomly pick four eyeshadow palettes uh, using my Tiny Decisions apps um, and then I get to pick the colour inside which I'm going to pan so I get to choose which colour inside the palette anyway <laughs> um, I was not expecting to film uh, this uh, update for you uh, right now but uh, today I hit um, quite a few pans doing this eye look today so I have three out of the four palettes rolling out so I, I'm so excited so at our last update I had just rolled in the Def Leppard palette from Revolution and I chose the shade Sea of Love I do have it on the inner half of this eye look which is just about rubbing off um, I've got really watery eyes today so um, it's no surprise I have not hit pan in this shade but I have a little bit of usage on there I've used this a total of four times um, I can see a little bit of a dip starting but nowhere near big enough to hit pan I don't know obviously how shallow or deep these pans are because I have not hit pan in this palette as of yet but um, this is uh, getting two, um, has two hits for my project pans because this is also in my charmed project pan, uh, the power of pan uh, that I created for the Pantastic Lady. So uh, when I do hit pan in, a, in this one, it will actually count for two projects. So yeah, I'm very excited um, to continue using this colour. It's a very beautiful shade. I really do. Uh, love it so it is that shade there so there it is there so it has a real nice sort of color to it so I will be continuing to use that shade um, in the coming month now the first pan I actually hit in this project uh, this month is, comes from my Revolution Forever Flawless Enchanted palette and I was using the shade Enchanted was it Enchanted? No, Storm, sorry uh, in the shade Storm so for Storm I use this um, 10 times and I hit pan there you go so this is like a, a greyish purple shade. I really do like this palette. It's a very grungy sort of me kind of palette. Um, but yeah, I really, really liked that uh, shade. It was kind of difficult to fit in with um, the eyeshadows that I have been panning. Um, so sometimes I didn't always like the look that I created using this shade. But I think that's because I was trying to pan it with other colours from other palettes and I wasn't specifically using just this palette for the eye looks. Um, whereas I do feel like this shade does go with the rest of the palette. So um, I guess that is one of the problems of doing pan those eyeshadows using different palettes. Um, you kind of forget to use the rest of the palette. But... Um, yeah, I mean, I hit it in 10, 10 uses and I hit this one, um, yeah, just at the beginning of March. So very happy with that one. We'll be rolling that one out. The next pan I hit, and I hit it today, um, is from my Revolution Rainbow palette. So the shade I was trying to hit pan on was Sunflower, which is the orange shade that I have in my crease. And there you go. Nice, happy, shiny pan. 
This one took me 12 uses to hit pan. It is a matte shade, so yeah. I really like this colour actually in the end. Um, it was such a real bright shade and really brightened up my eye looks. Um, so I was very, very happy to be panning this eye look, which goes with my Pan That palette and, um, and other colours that I've been trying to pan recently. So yeah, I uh, really liked that one. And then a surprise pan today, because I did, I did not see this coming today. Um, I still thought I was a couple of uses away from it, but I hit uh, a pan in my Dark Fantasy Beauty Bay palette. So um, the shade I was panning was Nightmare, which is a purple that I have on the outer corner of this eye look today. And there it is. As I say, today when I was using it, I would not have thought that I would hit pan today because it did not look like it was anywhere close to hitting pan. And then I thought I saw a little bit of like, like silver glitter and I thought, hmm. And I went in for one last dip just to do my um, outer corner on my lower lash line and bam, there was pan. I was like, no way. I went to do the other eye, more pan. So yeah, I, I, I did not see that coming. That was a complete surprise for me today. Because I thought, oh, okay, so I've hit two pans for this next update. That's great. Um, I'll keep working on the this palette and then the Def Leppard palette for next month. And then I hit pan. And I just I was like, no freaking way. So that's the Dark Fantasy from Beauty Bay rolling out. The Revolution Rainbow palette rolling out. And the Revolution Enchanted palette rolling out. So we get to roll the Tiny Decisions app three times today uh, to find out what palettes I'm going to be working on next. So let me get up my my larger pans uh, palettes. So um, I have three um, tiny decision wheels, one for my single to four pan palettes, a second one for my five to nine pan palettes, and then a third one for my 10 pans or more palettes, so my larger palettes. And it's my larger palettes that I am trying to work on for this project for now, just to try and increase my pan percentage for, the, for those larger palettes in my collection. So you can see some blacked out bits. Those are the palettes that have already been used in this project. So let's see what we're having next. Let's make sure we've got the sound up, because I do like to hear the wheel. Uh. Okay, so we have the, oh no, not another, another Urban Decay. Oh, so we have the Urban Decay Wild West. Let me just write that down. Our second palette is... Our Beauty Bay Berries, awesome. Now I have the, I think it's a nine pan berries one, but I also have the 42 pan berries palette. So um, this will be the 42 pan berries palette. So our third and final pick. The BH Cosmetics Miss Claws the Lit List. Okay, not one I was thinking of for the start of spring. Like we're going from winter into spring, but okay. So BH Cosmetics uh, Miss Claws palette. So let me grab those three palettes. We may be here a while with these three. <laughs> Uh, let me grab those palettes and I will uh, tell you which shades I have chosen to try and hit pan in. So, be right back. Okay, so I am back and I have chosen my shades. I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek of the colour story. 
So there they are, there. So at the top, we have the Sea of Love from the Def Leopard palette, which is rolling over uh, from the last month. And the next three are for our new colours. I kind of have like a Neapolitan ice cream kind of, you know, <laughs> thing going on there, don't we? So you have mint choc chip, chocolate, strawberry and banana or vanilla. Uh, so we have a bit of an ice cream look going on. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it at all. So uh, the first palette we rolled in was my Naked uh, palette, my Urban Decay Naked Wild West palette. I love the packaging on this. It's so pretty. Really, really pretty. Um, <clears throat> I love this palette. It's so gorgeous. So here's all the colours that I could have picked from. And I decided to go for Ghost Town. So this shade here. And that is that brown there. Um, now the reason why I picked that is because um, it kind of goes uh, with another shade that I rolled into my Dungeons and Dragons project pan. Um, <coughs> so this one can go sort of in the crease area. Um, to help darken out any crease looks so I'm hoping that I will get plenty of use out of that one um, in the coming months um, I could have used the cream shade um, to try and set my lid base again but um, I feel like that's cheating all the time so we're going to go with Ghost Town um, so that's the one that I'm going to be using now the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette, that took me um, 17 uses to hit pan and that was being used as an eyeshadow base. So um, I don't know how long it's going to take to hit pan on, on this shade. Um, the next one is from my Beauty Bay Berries Palette and I'm not worried about hitting pan in this one at all. I know that this formula is very easy to hit pan on. And the shade I've decided to choose, I've chosen it simply because um, this shade is also in my nine pan berries palette. So as I say, I own the 42 pan palette and I also own the nine pan berries palette. And the shades that are in the nine pan berries palette are in the 42 pan palette. So if you own the nine pan one, um, if you own the 42 pan palette, you do not need the 9 or the 16 pan palette um, in these Beauty Bay um, palettes. <coughs> I bought the Berries one uh, myself and I got the 9 pan Berries palette in a mystery gift box. Which is, you know, it is what it is. I got it for free so not too mad about it. Um, but I'm chosen the shade Sofa. So it's a very shimmery shade. Because that shade is also in the nine pan berries palette as well. So I feel like if I could hit pan on this one um, and start working on finishing this one, I've still got it in the nine pan palette. So it's not too much of an issue. So that is this sort of pink sort of shimmery shade. So that'll be really, really pretty to wear. Um, and then last but not least, I rolled in my BH Cosmetics Miss Claws, uh, the Lit List palette. I got this from the lovely Ruth. Um, not really the type of year, <laughs> the start of the year to uh, be playing with this palette, but here it is. So, um, I did not hit this pan. This was Ruth's doing, so thank you, Ruth, for that. Um... <laughs> She's given me a head start on this palette, um, which I greatly appreciate. So the, the shade I've chosen is Pop Bottles. And I, I thought this looked very similar to another shade that I had in this project before. Um, and it came from the, which palette was it? The BH Avocado Toast palette. And it was in the shade Lemon Pepper. And I 
I said that this shade here looked very similar to lemon pepper. Um, and it does. It looks really similar. And I, I miss that shade. So, yeah, I'm going to be trying to hit pan on that one as well. And that one looks like the yellow at the bottom. So, yeah, so that's that one. So those are my four new colours to play with. A bit of a, as I say, ice cream parlour kind of look. Um, I definitely see myself using some of these colours in one eye look. Um, I could definitely see that happening. Um, but yeah, this is my new colour story. And I'm very excited to be playing with all of these new palettes. Um, so that is it. I think we're still going to be, I think we're going to be here a while though. The berries one is the one I feel most confident at hitting pan on, but the others, we're going to be here a while. We're going to be here for a while, especially with the Urban Decay one. But I know you love it when I get an Urban Decay palette because Urban Decay palettes are notoriously hard to pan. So we're going to stick to it. So that is my update for Pan Those Eyeshadows. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.